Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, bringing us on an HL14 news update. That is right guys, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new True Performance Skating trailer. So you guys are probably saying, this is from HL13, what the hell? Obviously it's going to carry over in HL14, and the EA Sports dev team has made a brand new trailer featuring all the new highlights that the EA Sports uh, team is putting together uh, for the True Performance Skating engine, which is pretty cool. So if you guys haven't seen it, you guys can check it out in the description down below, uh, followed by the article I'll be reading off through the video. So... Uh, without further ado, let's get to it. HL14 will feature a number of key gameplay improvements for this series, including improved hockey IQ, better goal scoring balance, and more realistic goalie behavior. This week, the HL14 dev team talks about the improvements made in true performance skating. Last year, we saw the introductions of physics based skating and over 1,000 new skating animations to the EA Sports NHL franchise. In its second year, true performance skating features great player responsiveness and control through improved balance and between speed and momentum. Quicker pivots and enhanced lateral skating. Alright guys, so first things first, we've got defensive strafing. So in HL14, it is all about gameplay balance. So we've improved true performance skating by adding lateral strafing, giving players the tools they need to play stronger defense. Defensive strafing gives you the ability to move your player laterally across the ice while still facing the puck. By improving better body positioning, defenders in HL14 will have more opportunities to make plays. You'll be able to force attacking players wide and then use a poke check, a stick left, or well-timed hit to separate them from the puck. So as you guys can see in this picture right now, I believe that's Andre Markov. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he's trying to take off the angle from Phil Kessel. So he's aware of Kessel's intentions and uh, he's strafing towards him to, you know, probably most likely poke check or take the body. Uh, most likely going for the poke check or something like that. So it looks like the defense is a lot smarter in this game, but like we said, it's, it happens every year. We think that it's going to turn out great, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't really say until I get my hands on the game. So it looks like the defensive AI is a lot smarter in this game and it uh, looks like Andre Markov is aware of the intentions of uh, Phil Kessel so that's good to see. Next point guys we got quicker pivots so a big part of hockey is using quick changes in speed and direction to outmaneuver an opponent. Being able to defend those movements is important. The speed of pivots has been improved in HL14 to ensure that players feel more responsive as they skate. Players will no longer appear flat footed when they attempt to stay aligned with a streaking forward. Thank God. <laughs> like, I like the true performance skiing engine in HL13, but there was a lot of flaws with it, and this was a really big flaw with it. So, it's good to see that they're working on that. They're aware of the flaws they made in 13. So, that's really good to see. I mean, like, you could have, like, a really good skier like Eric Carlson, Chris Letang, Carl Hagelin, uh, Michael Grabner, even. And if you want to make a pivot with them, it would take forever. They look like walruses out there. <laughs> I mean, it was brutal. So, it's good to see that they're working on that. I could see, like, players like Colton or Kevin Westgarth. So grindy type players like that, uh, taking a longer time to make a turn, obviously. But I mean, really good skiers like Carlson and Latang just doesn't make sense to me. So it looks like they're going the right direction with this. Next point, guys, we got improved high speed turning. So true performance skiing introduces physics based skating, and this year it's been further tuned to produce improved balance between speed and momentum. The result is that players will be able to make quicker cuts and sharper turns at high speeds, creating greater player responsiveness and control. Good to see. I like the implements of the um, True Performance King in HL13, but there's obviously some flaws with it, and this was another big flaw. I mean, making those turns, like, if you have a really good skater, like I said, and, um, you like Datsuk, Sidney Crosby, Patrick Kane, like, it takes forever to make a turn, and, like, I know the 45 degree cuts and stuff like that, they're pretty good, but, I mean, if you want to make, like, a sharp, wide turn or something like that, it would take forever. It was brutal, so it's good to see they're working on this. I mean, perfecting their old system in HL13, I like the way that EA is doing, so they're obviously trying to perform, or trying to master, rather, uh, all their new implements from last year, so that's really good to see. Alright guys, so last point we got is linking 45 degree cuts, so protect against hits from the opposition, true performance skating allowed attacking skaters to perform 45 degree cuts to quickly change direction. This year, skaters will be able to perform multiple evasions without there being delay in action. Really good to see. I mean, it felt like an HL13. If you were going on, you know, you had some speed going on you, and you really couldn't make like an evasive turn or something like that to avoid a hit. And now the implements of this and like the one touch deeks, I think this is gonna, this skating is going to be really good in HL14. I'm really looking forward to it. And they're just making the, per, the, I guess they're making perfections to their old system in 13, obviously. But I mean, just the fact that they're perfecting it and stuff like that going forward, I mean, this is going to be a really good engine for many years to come. So, 
I mean, I like the fact that they're adding new animations, um, uh, more evasive uh, techniques and stuff like that. I just think, all in all, it's going to be a great experience. And it, you might not seem like a big change now, but once you get to it and you're playing the game, I think it's going to be a lot more noticeable. So, it's going to be really good to see that. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, uh, if you guys did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Tell me, guys, what you guys think about the whole brand new True Performance game. Uh, have you guys seen the trailer or not? What do you guys think? Just let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.